right? Like they, they knew, but then K1 didn't know. Really trying not to pick the life stealer in Stardar. Stop lane. Oh, we'll get him. Nice little uh, come. Analog might be in trouble. Malik's actually here to contest. And even Noob starting to run over and over as well. So they'll be able to get a kill onto the Conquer. Noob's got ulti if he wants to use it. Not they'll still have the catapult as well. Sprout. Really nice sprout from KJ. It's actually not going to be enough in the end. Okay, oh, nice. Never mind. Okay, they got the kill. Dubai Llama still will go down. Omar with a double kill. Not Maybe enough meta more. for the Rocket Barrage, though, unfortunately. But it might not matter to Carlos. There's another round of the spells and Schofield will go down a lot of experience given over to the supports and you also oh well they're all here don't mind doesn't matter if it doesn't work you okay, got noob ready to go well, and all with the boat's gonna be pretty impactful we'll be able to get the x back Divai llama even rotating as well so the crush is on to two malik's gonna be killed off a nice sprout from kj also clips omar on the retreat some great reactions out of heroic it's very deep though. And Analog's gonna be able to respond when they're actually lacking the damage for Schofield. Can they even get Omar though? He's also pretty survival. Now Noob's gonna be able to enter with the remnants of the double damage rune, so that extra spell amp, it's enough oh, to get one kill. One. And now Noob, he doesn't care. Spirit Siphon cuts his way through the trees. I don't mind it though, because I feel like if he jumps in, he probably still dies to the magic damage anyway. Of course, of course. It's uh, just that if if your game is a bit faster. Then, then fine, or if he gets an Agonims fast. But... Okay, they're rotating all around. Okay, one's here. Dagger on Axe. They do still the Wisdom Room, though. And now Divide Lama's gonna run into them up on the high ground. Dagger on Axe. And it's a welcome surprise. Meanwhile, down to the south as well, they got the jump on the K1 with a reveal from Melix Blink. Cookie's gonna be able to get him out, but For it's now. just not enough away. Maybe KJ with a sprout. It's great positioning. Melik's still going to be able to cut his way through. And if they can continue to keep cancelling the blink, then maybe Melik won't catch up. But I'll try with a snake, unfortunately. Melik still gets it in the end. And then now that kill and a dunk as well. It seems like they know. Like, Analog was starting to TP in. He's going to be able to get the boat. Torrent Storm now as well. A little bit awkward with the Ooh, position for the, the cookie kisses. placement. Still, the kisses is great. Okay, one's going to be able to charge into the middle with a Sonic. This is the first team fight that looked decent. But is it going to matter in the end? Because Noob, he's fighting with an Arcane Rune. So this Death Prophet is a gigantic issue for Heroic. And now Malik's going to be able to jump over the top of the call on to two on the low ground. There is no escape for both of these heroes. There's the call. <laughs> What the dude, he did that, he just <laughs> jumps in with the Ogre Seal totem. The White Llama's gone. They're still going to be able to catch Scrape for the ball. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh, this is not an enjoyable game for the Slardar. Six deaths. <laughs> dude, I, and I was all about the Slardar. That's what I hate the most. I was so wrong. <laughs> I mean... No, I don't know if you were wrong. I think yeah. you just, like... I really think the, the death into him team being top... Like, yeah, you... That rotation top when they were diving the T1 tower is important. Do so. Might be okay for Dyer. I mean, Enel's gonna be able to drop the combination. Is there any damage output? Didn't activate the Stone Gaze though. Gets it off for the last second, but it's not gonna matter now. There is no turn potential. You can't stand strong because they will go back in in a second. Now, Sprout's gonna block them on the outskirts. Still, it doesn't matter. The root was there, so TH2000 can charge forward. The kill onto the Dusa. Now the Snapfire's gone. They may just call it. Schofield used the Yules to save it from the dunk, but that's it. The Vai Lama as well dies. I'm not sure do, do you could they call it. Like, you were right. Some of the other series I've seen teams keep on playing no matter what until the bitter end, but this is such a rough game for them. The Vai Lama? Lame, the Vai Lama. You may die here. You should die, this. Omar. Oh, nicely done for the clockwork. Scrofford actually might be able to get a kill with the shell given over. They're trying to tank it up and it's not going to matter. Now, Scofield's going to look for more. Oh, my lord. The Carlos, he's going to give a kill over to Analog. Omar as well might die. Yeah, level three from Scofield. 
And with the extra level in the battery sold, is it going to matter in the end? T2000 will actually just turn. I think you get a big stick, maybe Lotus given over. Now, Divai Llama with the bugs as well. We'll be able to address it, but another round of the Frostbite. And Step. another kill as well. And the lane is pushing in as well, so some creeps will be lost. Gyro, Zeus, and the Darkseer. I, I know Ari was pretty much always going Mage Slayer. <laughs> there was only a very few amount of games when he would go Atos when Mage Slayer wasn't nerfed. What means? We will see the Gyrocopter go down. They use their stuns. Frostbite's still there from Dakalis, but... They've got some TPs. Importantly, Analog's going to be here as well, but looks like Melik's going to be able to reposition. They're even Noob thinking about going back in because Noob has also responded. Jump away, but the Frostbite just beforehand means that Analog's going to get held into place. And now also they're going to lose another. Like, where was his PSG quest yesterday? Yeah, I'm not sure. They're, they're really uh, playing with uh, heroic heroic that looked amazing yesterday that's the difference like they they switched sides top lane the Lama. he's got the bug on him he's dead uh, this is just a dead they might intercept him though scarfield's still gonna run into him oh but man he had the zeus isn't hit have they got the damage well, maybe it's yeah, gonna be close bots. and they're starting to tp in Oma might right. do his best to disrupt the turn's gonna be there as well, but the sharpshooter off the mark. Thunder God still hasn't been used, but Melik has got too much health, he'll survive through it now. Didn't he have didn't they bring him low enough? I felt like they Maybe they didn't, but I felt like they had enough damage. It looks like it. Yeah. Maybe go on K1. My Lama's so in a good spot close. to counter though. And they're actually gonna run to Scofield first. Still the jump's gonna be there from Malik. The attempt onto the life still at K1 will be brought down. It's a decent wall and freezing field, but it's not gonna matter in the end. KJ will try and get in range for the cooldown. Analog as well is gonna come from the right side. He'll have the damage to get the kill onto Malik. Oh god, it's well to scout. Very wary. That PC quest, but looking to try and move on over to protect the Razor. They'll catch through Carlos, but a great initiation is Melik. They're going to try and bring Divide Llama down. He at least gets the ultimate off before he dies, but it just does not matter. They are so far ahead. Analog's caught on the back on as well. Noob just solo killed the Zeus. We got here. They will see K1. Oh, Noob's got an Invis rune as well. So, I mean, Melik's going to be able to initiate. Look at the point blank stun into the burst. And even need this half shooter. That's your <laughs> zero four ten k advantage now. Basically, Weaver can just run you down. There's the glipe near, maybe a surge. No, no surge, no grease. One second cooldown. Are they taping in? Really, Scarfield? It's you tell it stands your ground and pop two kp. They've got the wall, but back the wall. The white llama. He jumped in. Analog has got it the thunder gods as well, but maybe TA. Zeus is not currently at the team fight, so the white llama is chasing, but. Without the extra spells from this, and now we TP it in. He's going to see Dukalis down to the south, but Melik, is there anything the Dragonite's really going to be able to do? He's lacking the mana for the stun, but still, yeah, the Crystal Maiden dies, but you're going to get the kill. It's a five-man wipe in the end. You become a bit tankier, but overall, I, I, X might be better bot lane. K1. K1. Got him mm -hmm. fast. Right, right. Ooh. I think I don't know. Oh my god, the bushwhack! Ooh. It's just. <laughs> I mean, life stealer lives, right? Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah, that... I think Darks is like more important. Yeah, for sure. And it's so sad because he just baited them into dying. They, they were fine. They were in position. He wasn't. It, it even good. seemed like the llama jump in oh the dragon temple for the vacuum that's an instant die back oh, that's a very sad way to die back oh, it's gonna try it but i mean analog without a bkb cannot stand his ground and yeah let's uh i think it's time you think it's time uh, yeah they are not going back. Let's just put it that way. Satanic on Weaver completed, uh, used in that last fight as well, of course. Very nicely done to stop the vacuum wall, by the way. Darkseer just wasn't fast enough there. Noob is starting to fall kind of low, though. Maybe they're going to be able to deal with the Razor. Four stuff over the north. Vacuum's going to drag him back. Dukalis will die as well inside the base. 
Okay, so okay. find a couple. They might also... Oh, I don't know how. Weaver got stunned somehow. Nice Cox as well. T2000 is going to be able to kill the Clockwork, but the rest of Heroic is starting to come. And Orb's going to be here with the damage as well. T2000 does not get enough health back. And they will lose an extra hero. And, and maybe Omar poked his head out a little bit too far as well. Weaver is caught. Oh, that, that was a lot of damage. Hawk shot in. Timer. Decent amount of damage on Noob as well. They've got a Hex. Divine Lama with the Vacuum. All right. That's pretty goddamn good. No way. You've got to go up against the Ages. And no buyback as well, importantly for the Darkseer. Off the back of the respawn, T2000 might get blown up as well. Is he going to die? He is! Nope. And Anub as well is getting chased down. He's able to pop the refresher, but the damage from k is enough before the static link. And this game, it's just not over yet. Heroic. Back-to-back -back team fights where they're actually able to edge out a victory. And now Malik's getting chased down as well. This missile continuing to chase him. K1's locked onto his target. Lotus Orb's gonna be able to get rid of the Glide near. They'll slow down Malik and maybe even get some more kills. Dakalos even gets caught as well. He's frostbitten himself. Hook shot. Hook shot from afar. They got Schofield's him. Schofield's gonna be able to control the Crystal Maiden as heroic. Damn. What a miracle defense. What is going on? Wait, wait. Uh, you wanted the game that isn't the stop. Shut and up. Shut there up. you go. You got it. You got it in the end. And how's your own dragon feel, Malik? Oh, vacuum. Back, back, back in. in. He's actually in some trouble. Pops a PKB. Meanwhile, K1 as well has jumped the Crystal Maiden. So Takalos just goes down it's before he can him. even utilize the freezing field. And do they want to chase? Heroic, it seems like an okay opportunity. Even though fighting to the ages and Schofield sees that. Long hook shot onto Noob. K1's going to be able to jump over the top as well. Meanwhile, they've got on top of the Weaver. Most damage is enough to be able to deal with the first life. Can they set themselves up? Wall's gonna be laid down off the back of the respawn. They've got it on top of Analog, so they need some way to be able to protect the Zeus tier 2000 with the damage. Analog's in trouble. E Blade, it might not be enough though. Turned. Analog's gonna try and turn. He's got a buyback. He can always look to rejoin if required, but it's not because K1, he can continue to pursue getting the Dragonite on the high ground. Maybe you take a fight top, get him into bottom, or you just do what we saw before with all waves in and. Yeah, they're going, the they're going to top, they're going to they're top, they're going to bait They're going to see the Weaver, they're, they're about to see the Weaver coming through bottom though. So they are aware, tier 2000 onto the throne, he goes. Abyssal. It's going to fall fast if they don't the glyph, maybe the Sunwalk gets better! They don't need the glyph! Melik as well is going to try and turn to the Ancient, but they've got the damage to go through with the live Buy back, he's time lapsing it. can buy back with the time lapse. They're, they're all just falling though! They're all just crumbling! Noob has killed them off. Zeus is gone as well. Buybacks need to come out fast, but it's, it's too late. Finally, they cracked the high ground. They're going to be able to take it in the end. Oh, man, they had to work.